so good. <laughs> Chef's kiss. Mmm. Okay. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Um, wow. Hi guys, my name is Therese. Welcome to my channel. This is my first ever video here on YouTube. Thank you so much for coming to my channel. Welcome to my little corner on the internet. I have a really exciting video for you guys. I am going to be reviewing slash reacting to the queen of the internet herself, Miss Jackie Inez new candle company forever mood i have all four scents here starting with watch a business oh this packaging is everything left on red we have cuffing season and last but not least caked up if you know me you know i love candles for a long time i was a bath and body works Can Bath and Body Works and Target Candle Buyer. I was just really excited that one of my idols here on YouTube, Miss Jackie Ina, and her husband Dennis launched their own brand. <laughs> it's just, so, it's so exciting. This is a black owned candle business, which is so exciting because I've been wanting to support a black owned candle business every year on Candle Day when Bath and Body Works candles were like eight dollars or something me and my mom would stock up for basically the whole year but i haven't bought any candles this year i'm over bath and body works like there's a new girl in town and she's right here and i'm so excited to get into this video so let's go ahead and start the first impression so i'm gonna start this video off by smelling the candles and explaining to you guys what the scent notes are of that particular candle as you can see look at the well first of all can we take a second this pa i do you see do you see the vibe i was going for i was like i need to coordinate my outfit to one of the candles and matcha business was the candle that i was most excited for the scent notes are just so unique i've never heard experienced smelled a candle like this one so i'm really really excited <laughs> to finally smell it the scent details for matcha business are hazelnut coffee almond milk honey coffee lavender with the base of vanilla. Now all of these guys are 100% natural coconut soy wax. Oh, manufactured in California, hey. Eco-friendly and organic, and this is also paraben and phthalate free, so that's really good to know that, you know, we're not burning a bunch of these toxins, but. It has this beautiful sage marbling, and it's like a soft touch of velvet, very similar to like NARS packaging, and it has the four and the R for forever mood on top. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Oh my god, it's beautiful. Oh, I can already smell her. Mm. Okay. Wow, this is like a good size candle. So you guys have some comparison. This is like my gelato bath and body works and this is the this is a forever mood. How many ounces is this? This is 14.5 ounces. So this is 10 ounces. Ooh. Oh man. Mmm. The scent that's really jumping out to me the most is the almond milk and the hazelnut. Oh, that's gorgeous. Wow. Beautiful. Matcha business, 10 out of 10. Everything that I expected and more. The second candle that I'm going to be smelling is Caked Up. This is like my second fave. This is the second candle that I was most excited to read about and to read the scent details for. First of all, pink marbling, come on. Who's doing it like Jackie right now? No one, again the four, and then the scent details are on the back. Again, with that soft touch, that soft touch velvet, it's gorgeous. So scent details, roasted pistachio, almond cream, pineapple, honey, jasmine, coconut, vanilla bean, and musk. Absolutely. Ooh, it's like when you, open when you just even open the box you can already smell it mm. these are beautiful look at that single wick by the way there's one wick oh my god Ooh, guys that pistachio hold on oh this is not what i was expecting at all this is definitely a lot sweeter than matcha business but it's not as sweet as i was expecting Oh, that's gorgeous. 
Mmm, I absolutely love. Now the next candle that I'm gonna be smelling is Left on Red. This is the purple packaging. Oh, they all have a little description right here. So this one says coconut caramel scented candle. Mmm, sounds delish. Caked Up says pistachio cake frosting scented candle. And Matcha Business says matcha hazelnut latte scented candle, so. These smells are just so luxurious, so new. Like her combination of scents and the way that it layered them is just beautiful. Ooh, mm, I caught a whiff already. So this is the lavender. Ooh, ooh, wait. Man, Jackie, <laughs> Auntie Jackie. This, oh. Uh, I was intrigued by this scent, but having it here in my hands and smelling it, wow, I was not I was not expecting that at all. This smells like something and I like I can't put my finger on it, but oh my gosh, it smells so freaking good. The way that the coconut and the caramel like swirl together is like sweet fantasy, but doesn't make your stomach hurt. I feel like that's a very common theme for all of these candles. You know, like they're not your typical like sweet smelling candle. They smell sweet, but it's just, it's it's different. It's not like a sugary sweet. They're sweet, like the matcha is sweet from the hazelnut and the cake caked up is sweet because of the pistachio and left on red is sweet because of the combination of the coconut and the caramel. If you're not a fan of coconut, this is not off-putting at all. Like this does not scream coconut to me. Like the coconut is like, oh, like in, like an aftertaste, you know, like it's not coconut. <laughs> Last up, we have Cuffing Season. So this one is in this beautiful yellow marbling. And this one on the bottom says Tropical Rainforest Scented Candle. But she did describe this to be a little bit more masculine smelling, meaning that the notes aren't as sweet. You can burn any candle regardless of gender, but she did describe this one to be more of a masculine scent. Pop her open. Mmm, I didn't think I would like this one as much as I do. I thought I was gonna take one sniff of this and just automatically, you know, hand it off to my boyfriend because I am not a fan of masculine smelling scents. You know, like the rain candles and like scents that are just a little bit more musky, like that's not my jam at all. But oh my God. This, this is gorgeous. Wait, I, I didn't read the scent details for this one. Let me go ahead and read that for you guys. Fresh ozone, salty lemon, mineral citrus, iris, violet jasmine, base of Douglas fir, rainforest moss, and white cedar. Also, that's where it does have a little bit of a musky scent, but it's not, oh, Jackie, it's not your typical musky scent. Like, that's just beautiful. Wow. Cause it's like, it's musky, but then the citrus is like, hey, don't forget about me. I can't wait to see how these burn. I haven't burnt them yet. This was just like my first impressions of smelling and seeing, you know, seeing what they're all about. But oh my gosh, y'all. I am just so blown away by the look, the feel, the overall aesthetic. Like, look at this. Are you freaking kidding me? All the colors? Come on. The soft touch packaging? Come on. Hello. Hi, I'm back and I changed my hair. <laughs> I took a little break after filming my first impressions, smelling the candles, and I burned all of the candles. Literally all of them. So I burned these guys for about 20 minutes each in my bedroom. Let me just say, the throw is amazing. The way I understand it is throw is how the scent like disperses throughout a room. Because this is a bold throw, you would be okay throwing this in your living room and it's just gonna make your whole living room smell amazing. Now something with a lighter throw is maybe better for like a smaller room, maybe like a bathroom, and the scent isn't gonna be as strong. My first impressions amongst burning is that it definitely burns very evenly. Another thing that I noticed is that this wick, y'all, this wick is strong. <laughs> the flame on this wick can get not like alarmingly large. This is just like a really strong, nice flame. I was like, oh, 
that's a strong wick. Another thing that I really like about these candles is after you blow the candle out, the smell will still linger in the room. It just won't be as intense. I burned matcha business first because I was just so excited. The note that I got the most of was hazelnut, which was so nice. So my room just smelled like toasty, like vanilla-y hazelnut. And I noticed that after I blew the candle out, that smell still lingered in my room. These really just fill the room up with the most amazing scents. I have no complaints. For Caked Up, the whole room just smelled like this sweet pistachio frosting. Like this was gorgeous. Left on red, when burnt, I do feel more of the tropical scents jumping out. It's not like tropical and fruity, it's tropical and then you get that like hint of caramel and sweetness. If I could put this in a bubble bath and just immerse myself in this scent, I definitely would. They're all amazing but Left on Red definitely surprised me the most. Cuffing season. Oh my goodness. The citrus and the zest just really jumps out when this candle is lit. It's not this overly masculine, <laughs> masculine? <laughs> It's not this overly musky candle. Like, it's not just like musk. You know, like when you smell a candle from Bath and Body Works, it comes out during Christmas time and everyone loves it. I hate campfire, marshmallow fireside. I think it is like that is just too musky for me. So I really loved the balance of citrus and musk and cedar. Like this is just, this is amazing. I would say that the citrus amplifies the other scent. Like they just all marry together. I already knew y'all. I already knew I was gonna love matcha business. There's just something about coffee scented candles that is just like too much. This still gives you like the same like energizing burst. It's because it's a matcha flavor and it's not explicitly like a coffee flavor. It smells creamy. Like I don't know how to say that, but it smells creamy. <laughs> I don't think I mentioned the price earlier, but they're all one wick candles made of natural coconut soy wax and they all retail for $35. All right guys, so that just about wraps up my little review and first impressions of the Forever Mood candles. I absolutely love the entire line. I know Jackie's probably never gonna watch this video. On the off chance that her or someone from her team does, you guys did an amazing job. Jackie. Dennis and the whole Forever Mood team just really outdid themselves with this collection. Like it screams luxury without breaking the bank. Really appreciate what they did with these candles. I am such a fan of Forever Mood. I feel like this really does give you a luxurious experience without breaking the bank. I know that $35 can be steep when you're comparing to, you know, Target or Walmart candles, but in the scope of things, there are candles that retail for upwards of $70. So it feels like accessible luxury. Thank you guys so much for stopping by my YouTube channel. Thank you guys so much for taking the time to kick it with me and listen to me rant about some candles for 15 minutes. I really appreciate it. You can definitely be expecting some more videos from me, so be on the lookout. If you enjoyed your time here, I would really appreciate it if you guys can subscribe down below. Um, give me a thumbs up if you're feeling generous. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Peace! <laughs> Support black-owned businesses. Bye! Thank <laughs> you.